with Antwerp sticker capsules on sale in-game for a total of 36 days so far, we should be approaching some of the final days that they'll be on sale before getting removed. RMR capsules were in-game for 44 days and Stockholm most recently for 49, but with the sales getting longer and longer, is there going to be oversupply issues and is this just going to turn into another RMR situation? In today's video, I want to explain why I think this is a completely different situation. So as always, if you guys do enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And just before we get into it, check out how to get a free $5 trading with the sponsor SkinsMonkey. SkinsMonkey is a CSGO trading site where you can find great prices to trade your skins at. And just to prove it, here's me trading my USPS Monster Mashup for a stat track AK Cartel and it's practically a break even trade. You could even make some money, and here's how. SkinsMonkey is offering up to a $5 bonus if you sign up through that link in the description today, or just enter code SUKA in the top right when you log into the site. So be sure to sign up today with that link, and easily trade out your old boring skins for new ones without losing tons of money. But for now, let's get right into the video. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the numbers. Legends capsules are currently at around 340,000 on the market, challengers and contenders right around 152 to 153,000, and the contenders autograph capsule, which was incredibly low supply, and also one of the capsules I invested in because of the rock sticker doing so well, is currently at like 38,000, which isn't incredibly high, but as for the three main capsules, Contenders, Challengers, and Legends, those numbers are not exactly low and are definitely much higher than Stockholm capsules listed on the market when that was happening and could get to the same levels as RMR if they continue upwards. In yesterday's video, I noted that the RMR Legends capsule topped out at around the 500,000s about a week before they were removed. But you have to note that the RMR capsule wasn't just in-game on sale for 44 days, it was also in-game at the $1 price point for 113 days. So supply this time almost kept catching up to that or somewhat getting close to it definitely isn't what we want to see, but why do I think this time is different than RMR? Well, first off, I think RMR was overinvested into because people just saw it as an easy way to make money, we hadn't seen a major in a long time because of COVID, and these stickers really didn't look good at all, and honestly, compared to Stockholm and Antwerp, people didn't like them nearly as much. Now, with that being said, we also have hollows being pinked here now, five times rarer than the previous in any other major sticker capsules, and there's only a few hundred hollows on the market of these stickers that are in the Legends capsule, obviously the capsule with the most supply, which doesn't really strike me as a lot of those stickers compared to how many capsules are on the market, and it can either mean that people are applying a lot of these stickers just because they look good, or could mean that people are holding on to them to invest and just not putting them on the market. Obviously, it's definitely a bit of both. As for the glitters, just looking at the price trend, they don't seem to have as much hype behind them, but in the Cloud9 glitters, for example, there's still over 3,000 sold on the market in the past few days, only 1,800 on the market right now as well. So if these numbers keep up, if the hype keeps up, and hopefully these things get removed from the game in around the next week or two, we could definitely see some good results price-wise, I think. Because a lot of these stickers are getting bought up, but since they've been in game for so long at this point, I think hype is definitely starting to die down, and people are definitely willing to sell for a cheaper and cheaper price as time goes on, and I think we'll only really start to see big results after these stickers are gone from the game, as we pretty much always see hype right after major stickers are removed and the upcoming weeks after that. We even saw it in RMR, like the Legends capsule that time around hit like 49 cents, and those things were obscenely oversupplied, and then they were pretty much just downhill from there. So hype is definitely a big factor when it comes to this, and we almost always see it right after a major and its stickers get removed from the game. And of course, we didn't just see it in RMR, obviously. We also saw it very much so in Stockholm a lot more than RMR because RMR did so bad and Stockholm was the comeback story. Nobody believed you could make money investing in stickers anymore and just Stockholm proved everybody wrong. So overall, do I think supply is higher than I'd want it to be ideally? Yeah, of course, but that can't be too big of a surprise based on how well Stockholm did. Of course, people are going to be a lot more comfortable buying now after seeing that there's still profit to be made. Now, with that being said, I don't think there's any reason to sell right now if you're already invested, even though supply is higher than it was in Stockholm. Once again, the hype should definitely pick up once these things are removed from the in-game store, which isn't going to be too much longer from now. Like, if you held on this long, there's really no point to sell right now unless you really just want Steam Wallet funds for something. So, 
If you don't believe in these capsules or stickers long term and want to move your money into something else or just sell at a decent price, which is a pretty fair option because we do have another major coming in a few months. So it's like if you don't expect these things to do well in these next few months, you could very well just sell off the hype. But I think waiting until the hype actually happens is your best move. Do I think these Antwerp items are too oversupplied to not be profitable? No. But do I think you're going to have to be more careful with your decision on what you should actually buy? Yes. I think there's definitely going to be items that stand out a lot more than others and some might honestly just be duds. But based on that, in tomorrow's video, I'm going to take a deeper look at glitter stickers and maybe some papers and golds as well. But glitters definitely caught my eye with this fairly low supply on the market. They're cheap, easy crafts and seem to have plenty of people buying them. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I haven't really looked at them much, so tomorrow I'm going to do that and we'll see how they do. But besides all that, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video. So as always, if you guys do enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And of course, check out Skins Monkey for that free $5 bonus as well. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.